what is, a, what is a, a, relative, a relative minor chord? Well, basically, if you have a major chord, let's say you have a, a, a G, right? A, a major chord, G. Okay? The relative major chord of G would be E. What that means is it's the sixth chord in the G progression in the family of the G chord, of, uh, chords in, in G. So if we go G, A minor, not following me, be sure to check out how to generate chords in, from any major chord. Okay? G, A minor, B minor. Okay? The next chord after B minor is a uh, C major, right? Okay, and then a D7. And now the sixth chord in the progression, which is the E minor. That's your relative minor chord. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that if you're composing a song and you're tired of playing the G, you can go to the E minor. They're kind of substitutes of each other. Okay, so let's say I'm going to say you're playing a chord, a uh, song in uh, in G, right? So that, those are relative minors, okay? So let's figure out what the relative minors are for other chords, okay? A song in C, imagine. What is the relative minor of C? Well, first you have to go up the scale. Six steps, so it's uh, C, D, E, F, G, A. So it's A, it's the A minor, right? So the relative minor of C is A minor, okay? And uh, for homework, I want you all to work out the other chords. <laughs> all you guitarists out there, uh, send, upload us your videos, please, and uh, show the world how it's done. I'm sure you can do it better than I just did. Shigaru.com.